increasingly the Canadian public has been, been evolving towards not just an appreciation that climate is a big deal, but but the, the need for governments of, of all political stripes and of all levels to take action. And we've seen that, you know, in public opinion polling over the last number of years. But I think the events uh, that we're seeing this summer are probably underlying, uh, underlining that even more for Canadians. You know, the, the, uh, the tragic event in Lytton, I think, was quite shocking for many people. Um, certainly the forest fires, uh, but, but also, you know, the floodings that we've seen in the last number of years. I think people are starting to understand even more it's even more proximate to them that, that the impacts of climate change are with us already. Um, we need to take action to ensure we're not making the problem worse. But of course, we're going to also need to learn to adapt to the changes that are with us already. It's an opportunity for us to come together as Canadians um, and to double down in terms of being part of what has to be an international um, consensus and an international solution. I think we, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of the work this government has done on climate. I think we've advanced the ball a long way. Um, but of course, there's a lot of work to do in terms of implementation, and there's a lot of work to do to ensure that we're seizing the economic opportunities that will come. And, uh, and I am hopeful to be able to continue uh, to, to do that work uh, going forward. I, you know, I, I, I often say to people, I got into politics because of climate change. I ran clean tech companies in, in British Columbia. Um, and, uh, and I am enormously privileged to work on climate each and every day. I think it is the defining issue of our generation and certainly of our children. And, uh, and I think that Canada has an opportunity to play an important role. We have provinces in this country, British Columbia, Quebec, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, who are ambitious on climate, who have concrete plans and concrete targets. I would love it if every province and territory in this country had concrete plans and concrete targets. It would certainly make our job at the federal level far easier. And you know, I, I am absolutely happy to engage with any province and territory to work with them on that. You know, when I worked for the province of Saskatchewan, I worked for the province of Saskatchewan as an intergovernmental affairs specialist um, negotiating with the federal government. I really would love to see us be able to work more collaboratively uh, on a go forward basis to address an issue that is of concern to all Canadians, irrespective of where you live.